everybody. It's Julie from Julie's Craft Landing, and today we have... Cameraman Josh. Cameraman Josh. I'm here. <laughs> He's here. <laughs> <laughs> and no sidekick today, because they are out... Um, Getting some sunshine. They're playing. Yeah, yeah, they're outside playing, which is so rare for our children that I didn't want to tell her that we were doing a live and have her come in, because... I was excited that they were outside. Let them go play. Yep, let them play. We don't have much play time left. So we made it to Friday. Yay, Friday. <laughs> um, actually, the week is, I think we've, considering we have come out on the bright side of Friday, and um, I've made some cute things for us today to um, for school. Uh, and this is... Hi, Miriam. A little... Little, Hold, little treat holder. See? Ooh, it's a little box. Just apple. holds like a little... Apple um, box. Uh, what are those called? Those little... I want to say Ferrero, but that's not it. Um, chocolate. Not chocolate. Let's, chocolate. Let's just Generic. go with chocolate. Chocolate in there. And that is cute. And this idea I actually got from um, the... Ooh... Her name is Julie, 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 but not me. Um, and um, she did it something sort of like this, but I wanted to try this new um, puff-up paint. I was excited to try that, so I kind of gives put a, a spin on this and gives did, it a 3D did some touch on there. Puff-up paint. So, and then a little card to go with it here. That's what we're going to make. Because it never today. hurts to be the kiss-up student on the first day of school. It, I always say with my children, we need to do as much kissing up as possible um, to start off. No, our kids are actually good in school. But it's always good to do a little kissing up, just in case. It's good. good to appreciate the teachers. <laughs> it is. They, they work hard, that's for sure. So that's what we're going to make today. And what we are going to use is some... Uh, this is going to be real red. Um, and Whisper White is our two colors, basically, but Real Red is the color, the red color that we're using. Um, so we're going to use some Real Red and some Memento Black. Um, this ink, when I go to do this, I'm going to talk to you about this ink. But this is, I'm using the Memento Tuxedo Black ink um, for that. We are using the new Harvest Hellos that can be pumpkins or apples or all different things. And so... Just in time for fall. Yep, and that can be bundled with the um, punch. punch that goes with it to save 10%. So we're going to be using that punch. And then we're going to be also using um, the Buffalo Check uh, stamp. This is a background stamp that we're going to be using. Cool. And the I call this the Cloud Punch. I'm not sure what this is. Um, I want to say it's called just like pretty label or something like that, but I call it the cloud punch because it reminds me of the cloud. cloud. So that's what I call it. And the this is the puff up paint that's in the in the catalog here, and it's called um, Snowfall Accents Puff Paint. And so that's what we're going to be using. That's kind of what inspired this whole thing for me was this puff paint. I wanted to do something with it, and. We also are going to have some of this ribbon in here that is the, um, this Red. is called, I, I want to call it, so I, the, the reason why I stopped for a second, this is a real red and it's called <laughs> runched, runched ribbon, R-U-C-H-E-D ribbon. I want to call it scrunched. So mm. that's why I think it's funny because I know that it's a few, it's missing a few letters in, in my mind, my, the way my mind is spelling it is missing a few letters. So that's what we're going to be using. And let's get started here. I'm going to start on our little box and pull up my, all my little instructions here to remind myself how to do this. And I think everything's cut for this one, so I'm not going to need my paper trimmer right now. So, how we're going to start, and I'll show you why I have this in a second here, is first, 
cut first stamping um, two apples. And we're gonna stamp these in, like I said, the, Mo the Memento Tuxedo Black ink. So why I'm saying this, why I say it a couple times, is because I wanted to do this instead of in black ink, um, because I was gonna be going over it anyway, I thought, well, if I do it in another color, just like red, then I didn't have to worry quite so much about the white covering it. Mm. Well, when I did it in red, the puff paint actually sucked up the red color um, into mm. it. Marianne said that ribbon is pronounced ruched. Ruch? Ruch. Yeah. Ruched ribbon. Ruch ribbon, yeah. Ruch ribbon, that makes sense. Um, Okay, so Stampin' Up! decided, uh, I think that I think that they were against me for this holiday catalog with putting in um, words that were over my vocabulary. <laughs> with the twal, is that right, Marianne? <laughs> twal, is that how you say it? Remember we talked about that, T-O-I-L-E? And Josh, you were like, that's not, that, that's not how you say it. And I said, I think it is. I think it's pronounced twal. And just while I'm stamping here, while I'm at it, I'm gonna stamp um, the stem. Oh, there's my sidekick. <laughs> She's back. I got your seat for you right here. <laughs> ah, there you go. It's kind of hot right now. You're kind of hot and sweaty? Yeah. <laughs> you are, look at the sweat on you. Is it hot outside? Yeah. I'm going to do my stem on soft suede in Momento Black. Oh, I missed that one. I'm going to do it again. What are you making? This is what we're starting with. This little, isn't that cute? Yeah. That's what and we're doing. Little candy in there. Huh. And then I'm going to do my... Um, little leaf also while I'm just while I have all the stamp all the um you're making this too ink out here yep we're gonna make that too oh ah, so a few I'm actually gonna do two of each of these which I gotta go back and make it a second do a second um clean stem yep because you just my... cleaned out <laughs> There you go. Okay. And before I, where'd it go? Before I put do my puffy, um, I'm going to punch this out. Oh, I missed one other stamp that I'm going to do. Sorry. We need to stamp that sentiment in there. To an A plus teacher. There's also a cute one that says welcome back uh, that could be cute on these cards too because... Welcome back to. We don't know if they're an A plus teacher yet. You guys have started. Yep, and I'm only gonna do to, um, to an A plus teacher on one side, one one out. So I'm going to punch these out first before I do my puff paint, because otherwise my puff paint won't fit through there. Oh. Yep. You'll, you'll depuff it. I will depuff it. I. Um, did attempt already to see if that would work. And that would be a fail. So don't do that. So you're only doing. And then I'm just punching this out here. And I'm not worried about it's punching stems and leaves because that's at the top, but I'm going to do those in a different color. So. Those are just my garbage here. And so, and you can see, I just did the leaf right here at the bottom. Let me get that, that was a little block. <laughs> and then I'm just, this way I can just go in and do, start with one and just punch one of them and not have to stick the whole thing in there. That way I didn't have to go all the way in. I'm just going from the top here. Just to grab the stem. I'm just doing the leaf. Oh, the leaf. That too. 
I'm hoping you guys can see that. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the stem. I just got on a little piece of paper, that way I can, um, see, just run it right in here, put it right there. Perfect for scraps. Yep, exactly. That's, I have a little scrap, scrap drawer. And that's what these are out of. If you have little papers, you want little papers? Well, I don't need little, little. Like that little square? No, I don't need that. Usually what I keep for scraps is something, um, this is starting to get a little bit small. Well, since I stamp on that one, I would typically throw this piece out at this point. Um, but I kind of have a little bit, I figure anything, you know, that I can get something on is how I, I don't know. I change my mind. Sometimes I keep bigger ones and I kind of keep smaller ones, so I shouldn't say anything. Um, Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna puff this. Puff, puff. Okay, so you shake this up. I'm gonna show you guys how to use this. First you shake it, and you have to have a heating tool for it also, which we do sell the heating tools. And this is my little um, uh, finger protector, I'm gonna call it. Ooh. I know, some people call this a Close pin. Close pin. <clears throat> We're going to call this a finger protector. And so with this, you don't want to put, you want to put enough on. It's a thin layer. Because it's going to puff. Because it's going to puff. If you put too much, you're going to get a really puffy apple. Ooh. What was that? Down at, I think that was a Ferris Bueller. And I, yep. Oh, and I'm just going to follow along here. Can you guys see this? It's my cameraman. So I'm going to come in a little tighter. Okay, good idea. See, I'm just following along this line here. Hi, Janice. And trying to keep it um, somewhat consistent on how much I'm putting on there. I'm going to do this line right here. I'm going to do this line right here. And then I'm going to do this letter right here carefully. And it's not easy, that letter. And I'll show you what I'm going to do. Oh, we've got too much there, see? But I will fix that here when we're done. And this plus sign. That plus sign's not good either. You don't think so? Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to try to move this over here. And I'm gonna take my clothespin, and if you look, there's a little hole kind of in the clothespin that's, here. That's the puff hole. And you oh, put... wait, 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 I'm missing you. Oh. There, now we can see it. So, see that little hole? I got my puff line through there so that... It can puff. And so I don't have the clothespin on any of the white. So sneaky. So sneaky, because you will burn your hands with this. Ooh. Now, if you get too, if you get too active with this and too close, you're going to start to blow your puff lines along, around. So we're not going to get um, super close because I want puffing. my... It's puffing. It's puffing once it warms up. Look at it, puff. Puff, puff, puff. It really puffed. The A doesn't that A really, really puffed up because it was kind of a big blob right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. So now looking back down here, cameraman Josh. I am looking. We're watching. What I'm going to do is for this A, I'm going to take my... Take a pick tool. Janice says she needs supervision with her heating tool. Yeah, you, well, you'll only burn yourself a couple times before you realize um, you don't want to do that again. So I'm just taking my take a pick tool and see how I just um, made that hole in that A right there so that 
you could tell it was an A. Now, Jalen said my plus sign wasn't good. Yeah. So I'm just this going to... This is puffed out, really. <laughs> puffed like it a was circle. really puffy. Doesn't look that good. I think it looks cool. A plus. A plus. So I'll show you again on this one. Now this one I don't have the A plus on because this is on the back side. So we're going to show you again on this puff up paint. You're going to see this puff up paint several times because this is why I got the snowman paper. Was oh. Then I could puff up with the snow. You can puff, 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 puff. Yep. Puff. So let's watch it again down here, cameraman. Right, we're Quit watching. looking at me. We're watching. My cameraman likes me, but <laughs> you guys don't care about my face. Tell him that. You guys need to tell him that so that he knows. Quit focusing on my face and focus on the project. He's actually looking at his phone to make noises. I know. See, I know. And you guys really don't need to see my face that much. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> was that a seal? So I'm following this line if my cameraman's watching. We're watching. Can you guys really see? You gotta tell me. I don't We're know if you watching. can or not. We're watching. We're oh, watching. We're tired of all the noises. Get those noises well, You guys off. missed the noises, huh, while he was gone. Okay, so like I said, I tried to use the um, colored ink and it uh, just sucked up right into this was a, a reddish kind of a weird color but a reddish color almost kind of look could probably make something fun out of it for Halloween I'm gonna use my handy dandy puff pincher yep pincher here and then we're gonna do it again here It's fun to watch it when it puffs. So puffy. So how it puffs? Puff. How does it puff up? Yeah. I don't know. I just buy it. I don't make it. It's magic. Magic puff. Now I'll tell you something on this puff paint, because I have used it actually before. Um, you can burn your puff paint too. What's it taste like? Um, we don't taste it. Oh. Do not encourage people to taste the puff paint, please. So there's our two little pieces, and then I'm just gonna take my little... Uh, so once it puffs, is it like dry to the touch? It's dry, and it's actually, it's hard. Okay. Yeah. It's, so it's, you can work with it pretty fast then. Yeah, it's ready to go. All right. So it's not. But hard it. Hold it. It um, I mean, I'm sure it, you can crush it just like I, you know. Oh, if you push on it too hard. Yeah, but it's. I mean, it's firm. So you can do it with normal glue or no. We need to do a secret glue. A secret glue? Yeah, like that glue. Is this my secret glue? Special glue. Yes. Multi-purpose. This is my multi-purpose glue that I'm using. And I'm just putting it, you can see, just I'm putting it on the front and then just sticking my stem back and back. Nice. To hold it on there. And I'm using glue because it's just so, see, it's so, such a small little area that I need to use glue on there. Then on this one, I'm gonna put it on the back side of my leaf. Just a little dot. A little dab. And then put that wherever we want that. Right there. You stay there. And then this one goes here. Like that. Whoop. Pop. 
popping back up. Get on there. And then we're gonna set this aside for a second and go to a three by three piece of paper. Oh, Just a little piece of paper. I've already cut that three by three. And I'm gonna score this at one inch on all sides. So score one inch, turn it. One inch, turn it. One inch, turn it. One inch, turn it. take my scissors and since it's square it doesn't matter which we do it at I feel like you're watching me a lot still I'm watching the, um, I'm watching the camera yeah, goof. so I'm going to um, Goofy goof. whichever side you do it on you just have to do opposite sides so I'm you know, just gonna cut up to this first score line on each one here so this one and this one see cut on those score lines and then do it on the opposite side too this score line right here, and this score line right here. <laughs> and then just fold my creases here. I could have done this first, but I didn't. So fold my score lines here. And now you can see this little box. These are, that's gonna go up. One's gonna go in. Ooh. Then the other's gonna go in. And we got our little box. Precious. Just like that. So we're going to put the chocolate box, little glue right on this one, this one, this one, and this one. And I didn't put, I, that's a, you can see I circled it around, but I didn't put a lot on there. Um, just because we want it to dry at a reasonable speed. I'm going to put this side up first. Pinch. Pinch. And then I'm gonna pull this side up. Pinch. Pinch. There's our little box. And I'm just gonna trim <laughs> off. You can see I got a little lip on the bottom here. I'm just gonna trim that little lip off. Just because I didn't line it up very well. Now this one I wrote box on, which I probably shouldn't have, because I actually want to do that as the sides because there's no seam seam on it. That's all right. That's all right. So we're gonna take this and put some glue on your seamed sides. Here, we'll do one side at a time, and I want this to basically sit level. So. I'm gonna set that down. I'm gonna put my um, apple flat down so that its bottom is on the... And you can squish them together. And then just squish them together here. Be careful of your puff paint. Yep, careful of your puff. And then turn them around and we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put a little glue here. I'm gonna leave it sitting flat on the ground. I'm gonna take this little apple Puff the other side. And stick them on the other side. <clears throat> you said puff on the other side. Dad did. There it is. There it is. It's a double puff. So, woo! It's There's a, your little thing. Your little a, guy. It's a double puff apple box. Very cute. It is cute. Cute, cute. Okay, now let's go on to that. Let's get that card going here. While she's holding that up, we're going to move on to the card. And this card is going to be um, real red base, your regular A2 real, um, real red base. I did, I already cut out a couple things just to save some time here. Um, a stitched circle, I've already cut out. Nice. A, Layering, out of the layering circles, this is um, a scallop. So this will go on top of this here. I've already done that. And we are going to, and I'm gonna use the Stamparatus for this. I have found the Stamparatus to work best with um, larger stamps. You've heard me say that before. 
And especially with these, a background stamp like this, um, just so that I have a, I can do it a second time if, if necessary. So I'm going to put my... It's a pretty big stamp. It's a big stamp. It is a big stamp. I've seen this stamp before. Yep, you've seen it before. And I'm going to line it up, make sure we're all straight here. It's a pretty fun stamp to use, actually. And then... Stick it. Stick that on. And we're going to use real red ink. And then I get to clean the big stamp. And I'm just going to ink. I know it's going to overlap a little bit, but I'm just inking the whole stamp. That way I don't have to worry about where it's going to hit exactly and such. So ink that all up. Take it. Stampify. Put it down. Stamp that. Put even pressure on here. Man. And see, no, don't take it yet. Don't move it yet. I'm gonna do it a second time because you can see a little bit. Missed up there. It it's it did it's not that it missed, but I just wanted it, I just want a darker impression of it. Okay. On in spots. So I'm just gonna Ink it up, back up again. It's made a good impression on me. Has it made a good impression on you? Mm hmm Good. And ink this up, or ink it up, stamp it down. There we go. There you go, Jalen. Okay, so we got our, ta-da! Check that out. So you can do this in any color, obviously. That's what's fun about the background stamps is you got this so buffalo I make, check. I could make my own picnic tablecloth. You could, that's what it kind of looks like, huh? Yeah. Or you could do it, you can do whatever color with it. It's, it's a pretty cool step. And then I'm gonna cut this down to... Who are you booing, Marianne? Are you Ooh. booing my silly dad jokes? Probably. I'm gonna cut this down to four by five and a quarter. Okay. Okay, so five and a quarter. Yeah. I know it's <laughs> I know it's kind of it's, there's a lot of red on there. You might have to take it in and wash it in the sink. It's a pretty big stamp. And by four. Four by five and a quarter is what we cut it down to. So now we got this. All right. And that's going to go. You right. also you touch it, and then your hands get really. And then you touch the wall. Yep. I'm trying to touch the walls. There you go. Then we're gonna. It's gonna go right on there like that. Cute, cute, cute. Now, let's do some. First, let's do an apple. So, no, that's not right. I want my apple in real red, but I want my ink in mental black. Now, if you were doing these together, it would be cute to puff this up so that it matched also on there. But I did them separately in case, just to show something different, I guess. Okay, I got my apple stamped on there. Now I'm going to punch my um, apple out. And then while I have this piece of real red in my hand, I'm going to go to my cloud punch here. Thank you. And I'm going to punch um, two clouds out. One red. Real red. And one white or two red? One real red. Two real reds. Nope. No white yet. So we're just going to push those. Red one. Huh? 
Where are you putting the second red one? Well, it's a secret. Oh. I'll show you in a second here. So we got our apple. Now let's stamp our, um, my, she didn't like, I guess, the, the, the buffalo check must have done her in because she left. Yeah, you scared her off. I did. And we're going to, what'd she do with my, I'm like, where'd these little things go? All my little pieces here. I'm going to um, stamp my leaf. And I'm going to stamp my stem. And then we'll punch those guys out so that we got our apple all ready to go here. All our pieces cut for our apple. So serious with this apple. You are. I know. Like, very intense. Let's put our apple together so that he can be done. Apple, apple. <clears throat> so I'm gonna put just a little glue right here. The oh, secret yeah. glue. I don't know why she calls it the secret glue. I, I think she just meant special. Super glue. Come on, glue. Work with me. There we go. Stem on there, and then my leaf. This time I'm going to put the leaf on the front, not the back side. I'm going to put it right there. There we go. There's our little apple. Isn't he cute? He's kind of a cute little thing. That's a cute it's little kind of hard to see him because he's darker on the dark background, but he's all right. Well, I'm gonna Good put idea. him on here. So how's this? We're gonna we're gonna Let's actually him put him on here. So isn't he cute? He's precious. Fresh. <laughs> we can see it. I will pull back to see your face, so we can see you roll your eyes at me. <laughs> 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 oh goodness, we're gonna get him trained, guys, eventually here. Just work with me. Deal with it for now, but eventually. Okay, I'm gonna glue that on my and I'm just gonna layer this guy up here. And I'm going to put my apple on. Thanks. Apple on there. So we got him all layered together. Now let's and we'll set him over there. Now we're gonna do so. This was funny. So I did this A plus teacher um, to an A plus teacher, and when I stamped this and then went to punch it out with my cloud punch, it looked a little too small. You know, it just was like, that just doesn't quite fill out the whole punch. Like I needed a smaller punch or something. So I went looking and I found this little piece in the stamp set. What is that? Okay, so what this is, is a squirrely skew. It is. It's a squirrely for like your pumpkins. Ah. You know, for the little tops of it. But instead what I did was I turned it sideways and inked it up and used it as a little squiggly line underneath my there you go. sentiment to fill up some space. Because <laughs> I was like, perfect. It need, just needed a little... Something, something. A little squiggly down there. You can see it on the card over here too. Yep, see my squiggly right there? 
And then I took my punch and punched it out. She's back. She just had to go get a snack. <laughs> oh, she was hungry. Yeah, I was hungry. And, um, and I centered that guy up. Punched him out. Mm. Such a punch noise. Yeah. And then I took my real red dauber that had, that's already inked up because I've been using it here and just edged around. This guy. Then, again, just kind of to fill up a little more space on there, and give it a little something. I took my red rhinestones and just added one on each thing here so it kind of looked like it was pinned on almost. Pinned on, yep. It's been bedazzled. Bedazzled that puppy. For mommy. Yep. That's me. From mommy, I say. Oh, yeah. now, Josh wants to know. Where's the other red one going? Why do we have two? Oh, because so, it needs to be split and come out either side. Oh, see? He's a smart cookie. Let's Sometimes. Snail it on one, snail it a little bit. We're going to put this on here, line it up so that we just um, have a little bit showing on that side and it's about in the center here is where it ends. See what I mean? Center mm -hmm. up here. Then I'm going to take the next one and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to leave it with just a little bit here. And now we got a little bit of a border around it. Nice. So sneaky. So sneaky. And let's go back and put this together here. So our card base. You didn't make anything. You just made that stuff. You didn't make the card. I didn't make the card? She's, she's getting all the parts assembled. Yeah. She's got to make the parts. And now i got to put it all together. You could snail this. I'm just choosing to glue it. I don't know why, because I'm in a gluing mood today. And you got glue right there. Maybe because I want to, I don't know, glue someone's mouth shut. Oh. No, not really, I guess. There's no way to talk about Mary Ann. I know. Well, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then this is going to go up on top here, but I'm going to pop that up with my dimensionals. And <laughs> Jalen is decorating dad up. Here. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Poor Marianne. I know. Not she everyone said, likes said, the children. She said, what? Glue Marianne's mouth shut. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, 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 no. We can't glue Marianne's mouth shut. How, we would miss out on all the sarcasm. We would. We would. <laughs> we, we, we would miss it. Okay, and then we're going to take, put all this stuff away here so that you guys don't have to look at all this. Okay, now I'm going to take my tear and tape. And so I took a piece of this ribbon and I just kind of cut a hunk here and hunka, hunka, hunka. I'm going to cut up the center about uh, an inch. Actually, I got to use these scissors. Those are not my ribbon scissors. Um, and then I'm going to angle. Just giving it a little snippy on the end. Yep. I'm just dovetailing the end. So I tried to put this into my um, punch to see if it would do it, but it's obviously not sharp enough. It would not cut the ribbon. It's ribbon you gotta have pretty sharp scissors for. So just dovetailing the ends a little bit here to give it a little extra. 
then I went to this side and did the same thing. They can see, Daddy. I don't know they can see. I can't see anything. Of course they can see. Why are you seeing anything? I don't know. Are they only zeroed in on my face? <laughs> no, we're watching you cut dovetails in the little ribbon. Okay. <laughs> She's trying to sabotage my photography here. Uh -huh. I'm going to put tear and tape on this to hold it on because we need something pretty good to hold this on. Your arms are in the way, so we can't see it. See it? Mama's tear and tape. There we go. Now on we the can ribbon. see it. And we're going to put tear and tape, or we're going to put tear and tape. We're going to put this ribbon right on there. Across. Right around there. Across the bottom ish. Bottom ish. Anywhere you want. And then it's going to go over the top. I'm going to take my two, I'm going to take a couple pop-ups. One on the top and one on the bottom because I'm going to try to oh, it's gonna span over pop up the, over the, it. All right. And look at that. Pop it up over it and there we go. Nice. To an A plus teacher. And then there's your little gift, gift one, your little gift, chocolate gift. So I thought it was a cute, this stamp, this little set is cute because I like it. Um, it's got the, it's got apple, pumpkin, uh, the, I moved it. Um, oh, the leaves, the little sentiments and everything. So very cute set. And like I said, schools, oh, I forgot to bling it. I forgot to put the rest of my bling. I got little, um, little blings here. Uh, my basic uh, rhinestones. And I just wanted to add just a little bit more on. Um, I don't know why, because I guess I just felt like I needed more on it. So just kind of put your bling wherever you want down there. There we go. I always put three blings on. Three. Well, I mean, not like that, but if I'm doing like just random, I don't know. Three's the magic number for me. Right. So that is it. And now I have um, one down for cards made for my kids, uh, for their teachers, because it's coming up. So that brings us to the end of the week. I hope everybody enjoyed it. And I know not everybody has kids in school, but even if you don't have kids in school, you know what? You can still thank a teacher because teachers do uh, work hard. That's for sure. So if you guys want to create something and take it into school, um, this is would be a great thing also during um, Teacher Appreciation Week where you can take, you don't have to give it to a specific Teacher, you can make a bunch of cards and take them in and have the kids take them to the office. The kids can, the office staff will give it to the kids to fill out. They can give it to the teachers. So just because you guys don't have kids, don't think that that doesn't mean that you can't make something for the kids and for the school. Because sometimes it just... They appreciate it. They do. They appreciate it and it's fun to do something a little bit different. So I hope you guys had a great week and have a great weekend. And we are going to see you on Tuesday at 10 o'clock. So have a great weekend. Bye-bye.